Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Mike Hermes and today we're going to do a tutorial in my 2018 where we're going to model a air filter for a car. Okay, here we go. Hey guys, well we're in my 2018. Let's start off with a polygon cube. Okay, so we're going to zoom in a little bit. We're going to hit R to scale that. Let's stretch that out and pull that up like so. And basically what you want to do here is get the height of the uh, the panels in the air filter this looks about right and then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to um let's see enter the edge loop option box multiple we'll set that to three and we'll go in and we'll add three right there okay we're going to hit q on our keyboard we're going to jump to our top view we're going to right click our vertex and what we're going to do is we're going to drag select the vertices that we just added hit R to scale them, pull them up just slightly and now for the tricky one we're just gonna select the middle one and do that once again and kind of create something that is somewhat round like that All right okay so now we have this panel what we basically want to do is we want to duplicate it in a circle and an air filter has a circle in the middle as well so we need to take that into account so I'm going to right click at object mode, hit W, move it out. Now basically the space between the center of the grid and the left hand side of the panel, that's going to be the uh, radius of the circle in the middle here. So let's do a little bit less. That seems to be about right. Okay. And then we're going to move the pivot point to the middle. So I'm going to hit the insert key. I'm going to move the pivot point and I'm going to hold down X while I do that. So it will snap to the middle. And then I'm going to hit the insert key again, like that. Okay, cool. So now we're going to hit Control D to duplicate. We're going to hit E to rotate it and hold down J as we do that until it snaps once. Okay. And then we're going to hold down Shift and hit D. And keep on hitting D until it goes all the way around. Until you have an even distribution of the panels, like this. Okay. Now we're going to drag select all of them. We're going to go to mesh and combine and then modify and center pivot. And what we're going to do next is we're going to select this whole thing. We're going to hit control D once again, jump to our top view and we're going to hit the E to rotate it just a little. And we're going to move it over once. So we still have space here to do it one more time. Okay, cool. So now that that one's in place, we're going to hang on, we're going to select it again. We're going to control D one more time to duplicate, go back to our top view and move it in like so. Let's kind of fine tune it. There we go. Looks about right. Okay. All right. These are the panels for our air filter. We're going to drag select them, go to mesh and combine modify and center pivot and there you go all right so now for the uh, top and the bottom for that we're going to take a polygon pipe and w move that up we want to make sure that we have enough subdivision so in our attribute editor let's set that to 60 and then what we're going to do is we're going to go in f to zoom in we're going to right click go to face we're going to drag select all the faces with the exception of the ones on top. Right click go to object mode, move it down, hit R, scale it out. And then from our top view, we're going to hit four for wireframe mode and we're going to scale it out until that just goes slightly beyond our panels like so. And then we're going to right click go to edge. Come on, right click go to edge and take I wanted to take these edges right here there you go right click edge click and shift double click we're gonna hit R we're gonna scale those in until we have that same space on the inside okay and then we're gonna go to insert edge loop option box single setting and we're gonna add an edge loop just about there and one just about there and then for decoration purposes we'll do one here and one here and we'll do one let's say here and there 
Okay, cool. Let's see, that one should come back in a little bit. Okay, we're gonna hit Q on our keyboard. We're gonna jump back in here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna level this guy. So go to object mode, hit W, push it down until we're basically sitting on top of our filter. Pretty close anyway, there you go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click at our edge. We're gonna zoom in on this guy here. Edge. Double click on that outer edge and shift double click on that outer edge. We're gonna hit control E to extrude and W to push down. All right, which will give us something like this, okay? And then we're gonna go in, right click, go to face, click and shift, double click, shift click, shift double click, shift click, shift double click, and shift click, shift double click. Control E to extrude, let's do 0 0.1, that's not too bad. And then we're gonna go up to edit mesh and bevel. All right, that looks cool. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna right click, go to object mode, and we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to smooth that out. All righty. So now that we've got that one, we need to copy that over, make sure that we have our pivot centered. So modify and sort of pivot. Control D to duplicate it, E to rotate it, Hold down J and flip it over, and then hit W and push that down. Let's have a look, hit four for wireframe mode. That seems to be good. And then for our finishing touch, we wanna to make sure that we don't have that black inside there, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this guy, hit Control E to extrude, do 0 0.01, enter, hit this guy in object mode as well, G to repeat last command, 0 0.01, and that looks all good. Alrighty, so last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little text on top. So let's go to uh, create and type. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna change this text Let's do, come on. Let's do caps on, no, oh, caps on, X3 2678-1. Sounds good to me. All right. So now that we have that, we're gonna hit R to scale this down. We're gonna to go to modify and center pivot. F to zoom in, W to move that up. E to rotate it, hold down J while you do that until it is straight. Jump to our top view. Let's hit W and hold down X to snap it to that center right there. R to scale it down slightly. And we wanna have this text curved, right? So we're gonna to go to deform, nonlinear and bend. Hit E to rotate our bend handle, hold down J while we do that. So now we should be able to bend this in a way that it fits our space, okay? I'll hit five on the keyboard so we can see it better. This looks to be okay. So we're gonna hit enter. I wanna get rid of that bend handle there, so edit, delete by type and history. Now we can go in, hit W, move that down, F to zoom in and have a look. It should uh, stick out a bit. Let's see how much we got, that's a bit much. So let's hit R, let's push that down a bit and then a W and bring that in, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, so that is basically all there's to it. Um, just for fun, what I'm gonna do, which is not part of this tutorial, I'll uh, take the whole thing into uh, Keyshot and I'll kind of, uh, you know, put some texture on it and render it. 
But as far as modeling is concerned, this is it, okay? So if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on future videos, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel, okay? Well, guys, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.